is a great <laughs> location in Inuvik. Made my day. Thank you, North Wind Petroleum Limited Services. Uh, great gas station, friendly people, and for some, you know, change, you can wash your car and hose it down, which is like, oh, <laughs> this, is, this is great. You really get a sense of a place, of the environment of a place when you walk around a store, a Walmart style store, um, and see what they sell there. And I noticed right in the front, walking in um, on display were two very large ski mobiles, um, you know, which makes sense for up here. I mean, of course. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. It's actually quite balmy weather for this time of year. It's in the 40s uh, Fahrenheit, which considering that we're in the Arctic Circle right now, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice day. I'm learning about the area and the culture as I just got here and clearly I know very little. Um, but the people that live here, a really nice woman down the road just told me how to pronounce this. They are the Anuvialuit. They have been here and their descendants that came from Alaska and traveled eastward, I believe, been here for thousands of years. Um, and there's a real culture here. In the fall, they, they hunt beluga whale. Um, and the, you know, there's caribou. And uh, also only, I think, three times in the last 50 years or something like that, as the person at the uh, B&B was telling me, uh, only about three polar bear have wandered into town. And unfortunately, when that happens, they have to kill them for safety reasons. But um, the polar bear tend to wander on the tundra, and stay away from the town to the northwest. This is zero degrees, directly north. Arctic Ocean right behind me, so I'm facing south, that's north. The North Pole from Tuk to Yak Tuk is exactly, or just over 0.2 miles, 0 0.02 miles over, 1,421 miles that way is the North Pole. Right over there. A ways over there, but 1,421 miles that way, North Pole. That's incredible. Yeah, no, actually, so I just wanted to ask you, so you guys are from British Columbia? Yeah, our home is in BC. Oh, cool. <laughs> but we're currently living in Inuvik. I was in Inuvik yesterday. I really liked it, actually. It was a really kind of friendly atmosphere. Hustle and bustle. It's um, kind of a, yeah, a busy little spot. Looking in this direction at the ocean, um, I can't tell you how many coasts and beaches and, and how many times in my life that I've stared off at different oceans, whether it's the Atlantic or the Pacific or the Indian Ocean. And so to me, looking at the sea is a very normal experience. So looking this way north, um, I could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. It looks like anywhere. Um, it's only when I turn around and look south back at the town of Tuk Tayak Tuk, does it truly, truly, really sink in that I'm in the Arctic Circle right now? 
Um, and uh, looking around, so this walk over here. So here is where I am right now. This is due north, and so directly ahead of me, if you look out, you can see more slivers of land that's kind of the Northwest Territories ex extending up that way. Um, I looked at it in Google Maps. There are no roads up there. That is all um, Arctic tundra. You know, literally, this is polar bear territory. Um, and uh, behind me, right over here, is the North Warning Radar excuse me the north warning system radar station that is the north warning system radar station over there um, i believe it was built uh, as a joint effort between the canadian and american government in the 1950s during the cold war um, to monitor you know russia but one thing is there's a lot of shacks what look like kind of ramshackle shacks along the coast um, and i thought they were just kind of like dilapidated houses but they're not they're smoke houses um, and it's literally a place that you put food or fish in and you cure it by smoking it out the really nice woman who's also staying at the uh, B and B. She was explaining to me that uh, the ground here is permafrost. That's why all the houses and buildings are sort of built up off the ground on stilts. And I think um, all the like water and sewage is is above ground uh, pipes. I think that's correct. If if if, uh, if I understood her correctly, that's what she said. Well, I made it to Tuck Two B and B uh, Airbnb here and. Uh, Upstairs, I uh, just got a movie on pause, but they have like a DVD selection and right in the front uh, the the most prominent visible one Adventureland uh, This is a favorite film of mine. And so the fact that I saw it here. I'm just I'm just watching it It's 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 a great movie. I highly recommend it It's Monday October 10th and I'm just uh, leaving um Tuck to Yak Tuck now, going back to Anuvik tonight. <sighs> Had a great time walking around town, checking it out. Beautiful up here. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it's pretty cold. It's just about freezing a little below and super, super windy. But before I leave, making one quick stop back at the Arctic Ocean to dip my toe in the water, and then I'm gonna head out. So let's do it. Something, something, don't know the lyric. I think it's Wednesday, October 12th, 2022, something like that. I have eight miles left of the Dempster before I get back to the main road. Almost done. Just uh, stepped out of the car for a minute to enjoy this uh, snow. This was the entry bridge I was on several days ago marking the beginning of the Dempster Highway and now I am returning back across it safely no flat tires a successful drive across the Dempster both ways well I did it uh, I completed the Dempster Highway in both directions um, made it up to Tuk Toyak Tuk it was amazing came back and mercifully not a single flat tire Saw a grizzly bear, an unbelievable experience. I'd have to say my favorite area is probably the Robertson Mountains and definitely the permafrost um, and the tundra 
um, south and around Tuktoyaktuk. Just amazing. And a great place to stay was uh, Eagle Plains. That was uh, just a kind of a hotel in the middle of nowhere, vibrant, uh, funny atmosphere too. Some characters there for sure. I love that place. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha